Welcome to the Uriah Jokes Podcast, the only podcast that now has over 100 episodes and he's like, oh, the views are going down just like Dogecoin, but it's nothing to bark at because views and reality is all a bunch of bullshit because guess what? You can believe whatever you want and you can do whatever you want to be and you can be whatever you want and it's finally true. We've been teaching our kids for decades they can be whatever they want to be. And now we're just shocked that now people believe that Jewish space lasers are causing the forest fires in California. Well, there's only one expert to call now. And the expert is the only expert that will go on this podcast. And that's Uriah Westman. Yes, that is my name, and I am Uriah Westman, and if you're looking at me, I'm looking at you, but don't steal my soul because I can't afford it. I can't afford the insurance. Yes, my name is Uriah Westman, and this is my podcast, and if you're like Uriah, for the past five episodes, it's been the same person talking about the same thing. Why don't you mix it up? Well, I do mix it up, and now I invited another person on, and they were supposed to do today's show that was only going to be yesterday's show. And, uh, they just simply forgot about it. And uh, other things in life, I would be like, you know what, this, somebody not coming and doing my podcast online is just like, okay, I'm fine, whatever. I, 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 I only asked them when I was really high anyways. Does anyone else have this issue in their life where they make a decision and they're really, like, excited about it and then like a couple hours go by and you're like what the what the fuck did I just do what did I just do I realize that this toque is now going over my eyebrows and that is like another thing not only is this little thing breaking up my face and now you can't see my eyebrows you don't know what emotions I'm doing unless you hear it from my voice and if you're hearing emotions from my voice that means you're not tone deaf <laughs> This is the podcast. I'm Uriah Westman. And of course, of course, of course, if this is not our show, it means, of course, the guest we have is Fiona Reed, a comedian who is now stuck on a memory card and cannot be released until I finish editing the three hours that we talked about. I, I, we, we went down to the bottom of barrel, but I got an important thing. The, the previous guy that you guys were hearing about was making a lot of sense there. Should we not be shocked that people just believe whatever they want and realities don't matter when we teach kids growing up that the whole world is their oyster, they can do whatever they want, oh, and then we get mad when they believe in stuff that isn't real. We raise kids to believe Santa is real. We raise kids to believe that magic deans in the world are helping us, that are that care about us. We are, a lot of people, most people, are, are brought up to believe in a fictional reality where imaginary man in the sky making decisions, and you do have free will, but kind of you do, but you don't. I haven't read the Bible. I think I need to start reading the Bible, and that's going to be a new show is Uriah reads the Bible for the first time and loses a lot of people that believe in religion, which is definitely what you want to do. But no, I like to tell it what it is, and I like to point like this, and I like to tell what it is, and what it is is that, of course, people believe that Jewish space lasers are creating wildfires in California. Of course, people are thinking that. Of course, people are getting elected to be morons because people are raising their kids to be morons. If, if, if I grew up in a steady environment where I wasn't taught that elementals are cats and that birds are Russian spies. But I just think if we just give a little bit more reality to our kids when they want to be something when they grow up like an astronaut tell them guess what people are going to be able to just have ten thousand dollars and go up there and be astronauts whatever so make ten grand and yeah you can be an astronaut but why would you want to be that 
All I'm saying is that if we're losing touch in reality, I blame parents and I blame kids. And the only people that we shouldn't be blaming are single people because single people, I name one. Actually, no, that's not gonna work out. Name one single person. No, it's, that's not gonna work out either. All right, well, I don't like single people. I don't like families. I don't like kids. Man, I'm like an 80 year old man stuck in a younger person's body. Is that a thing? Is that a is that a thing? Is am I in one of the letters now? All right. All right. So this is the Tuesday show. I'm going back in time. We're going back in time to talk about a different podcast. But guess what? Are you sick and tired of hearing the same thing again and again? Well, I'm not forcing you to listen to this podcast. No one's forcing you. No one has a gun to your head. That's, wait a second. I need to get a job for the IRS. I need to get a job for the IRS because I can audit people. And not only will I take their money, but I will make people listen to this podcast. I will do a podcast audit. I'm auditing the podcast. I'm a podcast auditor. And you know what I'll do? I'll audit, I'll audit Joe Rogan. And then I'll get on his podcast as a tax representative, right? And then I'll just do that. I'm not. Why do kids get a different set of rules? And, and why when I grow up, and I'm no longer a kid. Everyone's like, you're right. You can't do that anymore. You're not a child. It's like, hey. I like eating candy straight from the things as much as the next guy. All right. Why do kids get dreams? And then when you're an adult, you have to be realistic and prepare for retirement. Well, guess what? I am preparing for retirement. I have money in the stock market, right? That's preparing. I'm preparing to lose all my money. But also, I have all my money in a joke currency. So you know what that means? Dogecoin. That's right. I now, because of a million, a billionaire, the real world's richest man, Elon Musk said, buy Dogecoin. Dogecoin is the future. Now he's tweeting. Now he's tweeting. Now he's tweeting. Uh, oh, the, the, the whale who owns 28% of uh, a Dogecoin. He needs to sell. And then I'll get in. It's like, man... Oh man, I I, I I am just in another cult now. I'm in a cult of Dogecoin. And I did sell. I did sell, guys, because I have to, like, pay bills. I can't just be the, oh, you gotta hold it. I don't know if that's true. If somebody owns 28% of Dogecoin, and then I sell a couple thousand worth, I doubt that's making any sort of big change in anything. But oh, I thought, I thought we're going to go to the moon. And it turns out the moon doesn't exist because the moon is a different reality. And now we are at oh, almost nine minutes. You know what? I think this is going to be another episode where nothing happens. 